We wanted to discover the truth of the unknown, to search out what we cannot explain, see, touch, or feel using the most advanced technology available. So as our trusted team comes together, we'll spend one night gathering evidence of the unexplained in the most haunted locations in and out of our area. Join us on our investigation as we search for the truth and battle the unseen forces around us. Ghosts, demons, Bigfoot, poltergeist, UFOs. We are your team. We seek the truth. We are the Paranormal Travelers. Pennsylvania. An orphanage located in Nanticoke, Pennsylvania was originally built for the use of an orphanage for Polish children. It closed in 1972 and the buildings are now used for all other purposes. The cemetery consists of a small area surrounded by hedges. There's a stone cross and two headstones within the plot. One headstone states that 29 children between 1918 and 1928. The other headstone and crosses are for the reverends who passed. It is claimed that the 29 children's spirits and the reverend still haunt these grounds. Join us as we spend eight hours confined to this location in this multi-episode to validate the purpose of what these spirits have to say, or if anything, what they want. It all starts now. Viewer discretion is advised. May we be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us. Be our protection against all evil and negative energies on all levels. May the divine light and the archangels surround us with your love. We ask that all negative thoughts, forms, lost souls, residues, elements, and fragments be permanently healed and taken into the light that may be freed accordingly of the highest will of God. May we be purified and blessed upon every level of our being in the work that we do that is given more divine power and protection. Thy will be done Thank you and amen. In the name of the goodness and light, surround this circle in white light of holy protection. We ask that no harm befalls or follows the protected circle, and that our quest benefits of all who are among us. In the name of the goodness of light, we thank you for thee, your protection of the holy white light. Amen. 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 Okay. Come over here and say hello. Can you make it colder over by Kelsey and Mom? That door mm -hmm. it is, it's Would you like to communicate through the portal box? If so, can you make a tapping sound? Well, that door keeps moving wide and wide. Hold up, did you hear a tapping sound? Did you 
Did you hear that? It's back over my ear. Make a tapping sound. Moving that door. Yep, I see it. Mike, yeah, the corner of my eye is moving like it's bedroom door. That's what I. Guys, turn this way and look at your bedroom door. I bet you. Let's check that picture. I bet you anything that picture's moved again. I bet you I did too. Stop playing tricks in that room. You want us in here? Mom, Kelsey, go in there and see. Is it still straight? But it's really cold in here. There's it's cold in there. here. Like it's cold. Now that one's moved. Shh. Something's <gasps> over here. Over here. Did you hear that on the ground? Yeah. yeah. Can you make a sound in here? Can you tap? Just a little bit like this. Mike, you just had an organ in front of you. I just had one? Yes. Okay. Enjoy the floor. Come over here and say hello. I'm going to go get the uh, Say hello. Do you guys feel the temperature drop in here? Mm -hmm. Where are you at in here? I keep, did you hear that again? I keep hearing it and it's over here. It sounds like whispering. Guys, don't be afraid. You guys can interact and talk to them. Mom and Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Ask them what they want. What do you want? Do you hear it over here? Yeah. There's almost somebody's tapping right here. Like on the table. Are you playing a game? Do you want to communicate with us through the geo box portal? Is there oh. something here? Yeah, right behind you, like right by the door. Mm -hmm. Are you back behind mom? Definitely, definitely. Yep, definitely. yep. I just got the and the door just opened. Look at the closet door. Whoa. Do you see the closet? It's Shine the light on there. Whoa. I see it. Yep. Hold your face. Oops, you Ready? Me too. Oh. Come on, Come on, make that sound again. Go over here. Can you make the millimeter go up? Did you hear that? Temperature's dropping. Come on, we give you permission to come out and say hello. Talk to us. Tell us how you died. What year is it where you're at? We're at point eight, so. Can you next to the picture? Did okay. you hear that? Yeah. I heard that. It's in the other room, I think. Are you here with us? Bedroom on the other side of this wall? Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Let's jump in. Oh, it sounds like it's on the bed. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Are you on the bed here? Come on, make that sound again. Is that your coat? There it is again. 
Make the millimeter go off. Light it up. Why is that? No, that's not. Is that that's a coat? coat? No, no, that's, that's not, not your coat. coat. That's her coat. <laughs> Come on, I know it takes energy. Make one of the instruments go off. Make the K2 or the millimeter go off. You know they're pretty green lights. Can you change one of them? The temp's dropping. Yep. Come on, I know, it takes a lot of energy. Draw some energy from us and make the meters go off. Nikki, there's something coming behind you. Uh-huh. I feel it. Yep, mm -hmm. another one. I feel It's like he's, he, he or she is jumping between the walls because mm -hmm. if you stand over there, watch the temperature. All right? Mm-hmm. You come over here. Oh, yeah, it changed. It's jumping. Yep. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, is jumping between the two rooms. So that's what means it's either a child. Let's go out here for a second. Say hello. What is your name? Are you a nun? Are you a nun? Are you standing behind the homeowner? Oh, yeah. You said my name. No, it said pretty clear as day. Yes, it did. Stop, 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 stop. Are you children's spirits in here? Yes. Okay. Whoa, 3.6 in the millimeter. Okay, so that's what you wanted. You wanted this device, Don. Are you here with us? Are you a nun? Are you a child? Make our meter go off again. <laughs> Say hi to Kelsey. Uh -huh. Hi Kelsey, did you hear that? Very good. Can you say hi Kelsey one last time? Hello. How did you die? Our apartment. Apartment, I think that's what it said, apartment. Yes, you're in an apartment. Do you remember that this used to be an orphanage? There's an orphanage for me. Say hello. Can you tell me where you're at? Where are you at? Where? That is freaky. Can you say hi? Sandy, is it? What's your first name? No, Stacy. Can you say hi, Stacy? <laughs> say Stacy. Can you say hi to Stacy? Do you know what it kind of sounds like? Like, can you say hi to one of the investigators Something besides Brittany? Where are you? Can you say Michael? Can you bring Michael through? Oh. Hi. Michael, did you hear that? No, me don't have that time. All right, Michael. Thank you. Is this the grandfather to Kelsey? Is this Michael the grandfather? Yes or no? Yes or no? 
Come on, we need you to try as strong as you can. Yes or no? Or turn the green light red. Chelsea says, yep. yep. There you go, it's your grandfather. Did that just say Nikki? Yeah. It said Nikki too. Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Richard. We're both from the Paranormal Travelers team. If you're experiencing the paranormal or the unknown in your home or place of business, please visit us on our Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram, also on paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. You can also check out all of our seasons and episodes on our YouTube channel. Our investigation into such a large building seemed never ending with the stairs and corridors. With our arrival to the old orphanage, it started off active as soon as we stepped inside the doors. We decided to take the team at this time of the night to the old basement, which is now a storage locker for the tenants, to see if Michael and or our equipment could pick up anything from within. So let's continue the investigation as we walk upstairs of the old chapel. Temperature's already going. I'm trying to think how I start this question. If there's any spirits in this room here, besides Nikki's big mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your minute. If there's any spirits in this room here, please make a sound. Make a tapping sound. Validate that you're here. I'm going to validate it here, just light up a K2 meter. Shh. If the reverend's down here, will the reverend make this meter jump? Make this meter jump in my hand. What was that? Is this where you keep the children?
If you're here with us, make that me. There you go. John, shut off. Thank you. Don't let him shut it off. We need the evidence. <laughs> John, if this is you, shut off and turn back on. Turn back on. Is this somebody's apartment above us? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. Excuse me. Shh, that was me. John, if you're here, go all the way to red. This is where he kept the kids. John? Is this where you kept the kids at? I don't know, guys. I don't think that's somebody... I think it's somebody walking, but not physically human. No, that's fusion. We've got one dead friend dick with us. He can kick somebody's butt. So. Is this where you keep the children at when they're bad? I think that's the one. I don't know. I feel like every time when you talk, it makes noise. Yeah, it's like the one I talk. I want to ask you the question. John, is that you moving above us? If it is light up from green to red. Validate. Is that you? Light up from green to red. I feel like I'm being watched through these cages. Because remember, back in the day, these cages weren't there. Basement, you hear that? Jason, what are you hearing with your ears? Something's from upstairs. That's what I'm saying. John, are you still here with us? Reverend John, if you're still here, light up from green to red. Another uh, boom from upstairs. Thank you. If is this where you brought your children? If you did, light up from green to red. Brady, turn the top light on if you need it. No, I'm good. John, come back. Are you still here? I want to test something. I'm going to take this and put it down. Light up from green to red if you want to play a yes or no game. John, or any spirit that is here? That was a growl. Did you hear that? Did you hear that growl? Did you hear that? Though? I heard it once before. That wasn't a growl. That came from upstairs. And it was a voice. It literally sounded like a growl. I know. Oh, I heard it too. It went over here. Is that you? Take off. Thank you. Turn off. John, turn off. Hey, turn off. Really? Can you make my millimeter go off? No? Do you want to play a game? Okay, is that growling again or is it somebody's belly growling? <laughs> no, I think mm -hmm. it's something you're hearing. Jason, is that your stomach? <laughs> no, I swear. <laughs> Hi, John. Thank you. Turn off. Kelsey, ask it a question. Don't pause up, Kelsey. Are you are you here with us? <laughs> we're trying not to make ourselves known that we're down here. <laughs> John, make her believe. Light up to red. Are we speaking with John? Thank you. Is this where you brought the children down? John? Are you afraid of me, John? I would be. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It's a breathing right there. There goes, guys, guys, guys. Did you guys, guys just hear a little kid? I did, I did. And look, right over that section. A little kid giggling. Listen, look over there. There's that fog again. Mm -hmm. Look at the fog building up. Tell me you guys don't see that. I heard a little kid. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Can you go through our light? 
Can you go through our grid? Show us. Shh, shh. Guys, guys, look at my meter. Quick. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Um, it was just there. It was just there. Hold on. Come back Come again, please. Are you afraid to show yourself? I'd be too. Come on. If you're a little kid, it's okay. We're not here to hurt you. Did you guys see it, though? Mm -hmm. I didn't you catch it. Did you read story? With my eyes, not the camera, though. Shoot. You want to know your story? Let me let me try doing this again. Hold on. I went this way. Went this way. Touch the light. Thank you. There it is. There it is. Look! 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 Thank you. Turn off. Guys, it's over here. Guys. Nothing's right here. Rick. Come on! Come on! Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Where are you? Where are you? You down here? Do you want to play a game? Light up the lights. Come on, come on, do it again. From green to red. Come on. This way. Green to red. You guys saw that, right, Jason? There it is. Look, 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 look. Four, six. Was he over there? Six. Oops, come over here. Light up from green to it's red. It's at zero point six right now, guys. Yeah, I know it takes a lot of energy. Zero point five. But we're not here to hurt you. If it, you're a little kid, come light up from green to red. 0 0.7. It's insane to you. Come on. Come on, make my lights go red. Oh, I keep hearing a voice coming from upstairs. <clears throat> Do you want me to come down to your level? Is that better? Yeah? Light up again. I'm not here to hurt you. I promise. Can you light up again? Do you want us here? Come on, I know it takes a lot of energy. Just light up again. Over here. Thank you. Where are you at? Guys, if the laser grid goes out of focus, it's me standing in front of it trying to get a reading. Are you over here? Yeah. Where are you at? How about over here? Are you by my hand? Light up again. Mm -hmm. I'll come down to you. Thank you. I'll come down to you. Trying to pick up a I'll reading right now. You. Can you light up again? Thank you. Oh, something came loose. Thank you. Good job now. Oh, you're scared to shoot at me. Okay. We know you're here. Were you abused here? Oh my god, guys, guess what the number was on the bottom of this meter? Mm -hmm. Six, six, six. A big orb just went right by you, Michael. <laughs> when I so said, that, said that? From up to yeah. down. It literally said six, six, six on it. What the hell is that? It's a coat. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> it's your big head. There it is again, six, six, six. Reset the meter. Look, look, look. I don't know if you guys have good eyes, but try to stare at the bottom numbers. The temperature. Do you six, see it? Six, six. Oh, yeah, I see it. Six, six, six. Are you here with us? Come on. You're trying to make the number go up. Come on. Give her a pocket. Huh? What's that? The puck. Oh, I hope How is it possible to go from 66.6 to zero six nine. Hmm. See what I'm not getting is yours is going off, but this isn't going off with it. They're, right. they're different you meters. Didn't. They detect different. Are you afraid of Michael? Light up from red to green to red. I doubt that it's afraid of me. I think it's afraid of you, Nikki. Mm, keeps coming to me. Walk through the laser grid. I'll be running out of here. Walk through those little green dots. Come on. Watch Mikey do it. Walk can you through watch, it. Can you repeat what he does? Michael, go stand out there. <clears throat> All right. Walk across like he does. Can you do that?
Did somebody just walk by that? Come back over here, though. I have an idea. You like this so much. <gasps> Whoa. There you go. There you go. Come on. I know it takes a lot of energy. Draw it from Whoa. us. Whoa, Did you hear that? that? I know it takes a lot of energy. Draw it from Whoa. us. Whoa, Did you hear that? that? I know it takes a lot of energy. Draw it from Whoa. us. Whoa, Did you hear that? that? It was like a pin. Yeah, it was like when she talked, it sounded like a long echo. Draw it from us. Steven, where are you? The right hand corner where Michael was standing, am I seeing things or are the dots being shape manipulated shape by shape. something? No, shape, 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 shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. It looks like it's dimming like in and out. There's standing there. It's Dots coming. are disappearing. And they are. Just let it go. <laughs> they are. Just let it go. <laughs> they are. Just let it go. <laughs> there it is again. I, I see you. Come to my voice. I won't hurt you. Oh, that's freaky. Do you see it? I want to go sit over there. Go I ahead. won't hurt you. It's on the left hand side. Thank you. Watch out. Come to my voice. Hi. I wish we brought the SLS. I'm going to sit next to you. All right. If you're a child. I this is the good camera. I want you to speak into this camera and tell us your name. Okay? It's not there. You play with these dots too, just like that. Come on. Talking to this camera here. Jay. Because mm -hmm. everybody wants to hear you. All right. They're all over there. You can, it, in order for them to see you, you have to walk through these dots. So if you walk through the dots, they're going to see it and know that you're here with me. But come over here and speak into these lights here. All right. We've had other friends do that. So come on over from either side and talk to us. Can you come over and talk to us? Mm -hmm. Come over and talk to me. You don't have to bother them down there. Just stay down here with me. Okay. Come on, you can come over here and talk to me. Can you walk in front of these? Probably, yeah. Hmm? What's that? Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Nikki. We're both part of the Paranormal Travelers team. Have you been experiencing the paranormal or unknown in your home or business? Please visit us on our Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, or also at paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. And please check us out on our YouTube channel for all of our latest episodes and past seasons. Continues their investigation at our guest investigator Kelsey's apartment, where a lot of the activity is at. Michael seems to be bringing through some children as well as a priest through the portal box. I, on the other hand, armed with the SLS camera, was picking up figures in the living room as well as the kitchen area on the kitchen table. So let's continue our investigation and try to find out what's going on. Stacey, you guys can talk to us. Well, I asked, I asked him a question. Ask him, ask him to do what? Sure chance, guys. Who wants to ask a question? I think it's waiting for you to speak to her, Kelsey. Yeah. Do you want them to talk to you? Yes or no?
Listen. We're listening. What are you trying to tell us? I need Michael the grandfather to come through. Are you here with us? Yes or no? Where are you at? We need to... Away. Repeat that answer. That's Rick in the kitchen. The bunk. Use some of our energy. I know it takes a lot. Come through and talk to us. Stacy, say something. Pop, is that you? Sounds sound like I said, you betcha. Hello. 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 What is your name? Let, let her talk to you. What Go. is your name? Michael. And then look at... The, G the mill meter's going off. Hawk, do you see MJ, Kelsey's son? Thank you. Ask it again. Don't be scared. It's here. It's by her. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes. Do you want to play a game? Kelsey, something, please. Hi, Pop. How are you? Good. Pop, are you watching Gigi? Pop, are you watching Gigi? It's coming through. Yeah, wait a minute. Trying to say it's something trying to us. But it, it sounds like it's being blocked. Are you a dark energy in this home? Yeah, that's what it sounded like too. Are you preventing him from speaking to us? It's building. Mm -hmm. Good job. Are you preventing Michael from speaking to us? Oh, I felt like I got off balance just now. <laughs> Try. Stop it. Yeah. Kill. Yeah. It's... What? Clever. Clever? Kill? Yes. It just yes. Again. Well, you have no authority to block him from talking to his loved ones. Let him speak. Michael, do you watch over Kelsey? Something's going to turn. It's back there. Do you watch after Kelsey? <laughs> Say it louder. Help me? Help me. Help me. Who are we speaking to? Martin? Mar Martyr? <laughs> Say it again. Pop, are you there? Sometimes you get more experience, you gotta get a little bit more aggressive. Or are you them. pretending to be Pop? I'm pretending because... Mm -hmm. 
I think it's being a trickster. Yep. You let my grandfather talk. Am I right? Are you a trickster? Thank you, shut off. Thank you, shut off. Whoa! Yeah. Stop now. Did you see did you see that? Yo, we got mad. That got mad. Right We're me. sorry to disrespect you. You didn't have to get so mad like that. I just got the goose. That was crazy. Did you guys Whatever see that? Whatever it was, touched the back of my neck. I got the goosebumps bad. Are you mad? Are you mad that we're calling you out? We said. We're sitting here and we're setting the. How would you like it if we crossed you over? Do you want to go to heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Then you let her grandfather speak to her. You stop being a trickster. Michael, say hello, please, for your granddaughter. Hi. Hi, Pop. Very good, Michael. Can you say hi one more time to validate to her that you're here? Or say hi, hi to Sarah? Someone's temperature's dropping. Please? Stacy. Stacy? Don't get your name. <laughs> Say hi to Stacy, please. Let her know that you're here. Validate it. I wonder if you brought something through your portal box. I think I did because that By was crazy. By calling her another name. Hello? Hello. Did you just say hello or I said hell when I answered you before? Are, Are we talking to the trickster again? What's that? Ask it. Ask it. Are you the person who's watching Kelsey in her room? Get a little aggressive if you have to. Answer me. Are you the person who's watching Kelsey in her room? That's right. I think it's a coward to answer you. You're a trickster. You're a coward, baby. There you go. There you go. You don't do that. You're here. Oh. Light my millimeter up. 50 second roll. Yep. Yep. It, yeah, he said he's the one that watches her. Are you? Are you? De are you evil? Are you evil? Do you want to hurt Kelsey? Richard. Richard. Is it Richard or Brittany? No, I was I Richard. Richard. Do you want to hurt Michael? Michael. Michael. Well, it knows all of our names in here. Who else? Who else is here? Unless this is Michael, Kelsey's grandfather, that knows that Richard's here and my name's Michael too. I said your name too, and from my name. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Can I have a child spirit come through? Say hello. I want a child spirit. Say hi. Say hi. If I get a child spirit that comes, oh my god. Do you see how smoky it is over there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's foggy in the corner. We know you're here. Come talk to us. Stop being a coward. Do you know that you're dead? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you just whistle? No. Oh. oh. Kind of. That's kind of funny. Are you demonic? Are you demonic? Are you over here? Back up. Come over here. Lay my millimeter up. Are you here to hurt Kelsey? I want a direct answer, yes or no. Are you here to hurt Kelsey or... By this time, time of the night, I decided to turn on the SLS cam, which stands for Structured Light Sensor. Hello? And the skeleton that I picked up on the couch was simply amazing. Are you, do you want to hurt my daughter? That was a child crying. No. no. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's here. We're getting some Say it again. Um, do you want to hurt my what, daughter? What, 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 what? <laughs> 
There's something crawling on the couch. Whoa! Oh my god, look at the- Wow. So, Rick, Richard. so Rick could see you, and we could hear you. Thank you, shut off now. Mom, say that again. Do you want to hurt my daughter? Every time you say that, it goes off. Or by the couch. Same space for this. Do you want to hurt her daughter? Yes or no? All right, since you won't answer me, I'll turn you up a little bit more. Kelsey, I'm coming for you. Well, you can't have her. You're back. Stop. It's you can't okay. have my daughter. Somehow there's a lot of anger. We're coming back here. Where are you? Holy shit. Well, Look at how bright it is in here though. Remember how dark it was? Look at how bright it is. Are you in here? Are you by this are you by this closet door? It is open. Closet door is open. You opened up the closet door, didn't you? What is your name? Give me your name. What if I went this far? Were you a priest? Say it again. Were you a priest here? Yep. Yep, I was. Are you Father Connie? I was. So you just said I was. A priesthood. Like whatever you asked it, I were you something and you said I was. Yeah, that's what and then you said I was. Hello, we are the Paranormal Travelers. And if you're experiencing anything paranormal or unknown in your home or business, please visit us on our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, or paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. You can check out all of our episodes and past seasons on our YouTube channel.
They say Europe. Yeah. Europe or Europe? Do we have viewers from Europe? We do. Can you say one of our names? Computer. <laughs> That's often said a lot. Come on. That's often said because you're usually at the computer. Come on, manipulate these green dots you just were. When you crop when you walked across the room. These were just What was that? Oh, I heard that too. It was like, oh, psst. outside the door. I hear footsteps coming. Outside the door. Somebody said, oh my god. Okay. Who just said that? What? Oh my god. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but who turned the light on outside? Why is that turning that on? I don't know. Yo, it's moving. It goes again. <laughs> Jack's the nickname for John. Yeah. I just thought of that. John. Come on, what's your name? John, is that you? None. None. None, like N-U-N? None or N-O-N? N-O-N. N-O-N-E. Who are you? Give me your name. Where are you? Right. Hey guys, we're live in the- You watch Kelsey sleep at night. You watch Kelsey sleep at night. <laughs> Yep. Yep. He said, yep, yep, I am the father. I am the father. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it it's is. It's getting angry. It's, it's getting very mad that we are in here. What do you want from me? What do you want from Kelsey? Speak. Your life. <laughs> We want something. Try it. It's, it's building up the energy. Try it. 
Try the energy. What do you want from Kelsey? <laughs> Life. Life? Are you going to hurt Kelsey? Yes or no? Are you going to hurt Kelsey? You're, yes, I know you're here with us. Are you looking down? Yes. Good. If you're a spirit, make those lights stop. Make the lights stop. Stop. Very good. Very good. Oh my god, it's you. I got the chill. I'm standing right behind you. Are you standing behind mom? Say yes or no. Validate it. Validate it. Okay, that's my hand. Do you want to hurt my son, MJ? Stop. Here it comes, here it comes. Say it again. Do you want to hurt my son, MJ? Kelsey. Oh, yeah, that's what it sounded like. I thought it said, help me at first, but it's Kelsey. It's like Tony. What was that? Hello? 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 Uh, thank you. Is that your pop? It's, he's, whatever's in here, because right now it's like a black mask on you, it's trying to talk to us. I got chills over here. That's why it's getting so loud like that, because it's trying to get the energy to speak more to us. Are you hurting my arm right now? I think it's your pop. I feel my arm hurting. Through, but somebody's trying to fight with me. Nora just went away from you. It's me. Are you hurting my arm right now? That's a little child. Little boy or little girl, can you come in and say hi? Say hi. I need you guys. It's mocking me. Yeah. And it sounds like your voice. I'm going to turn. See how I can make it louder? What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down about right there. So oh, it's clear now. Can you come clear now so we can hear you a lot more? Come on. Is that recording button still on for the microphone? Guys. Uh, Here. Is it a little red? Yeah. yeah. Is it a little red? Okay. Yes. Somebody turned the knob up on me. Did you hear that? You're a prankster, aren't you? I can't read it. 
29 children died between 1919, Stephen, between 1919 and 1928, donated by St. Stanley alumni in 1979. What's that say? I can't read it. SP. Are those the children? The last one? No. Sure. There it is. It's one grave for the, the kids that passed away here. I don't think that's English. That's Russian. Russian or Polish. No, this is a... That's not English. This is Russian. These are their names. 1866, 1860, 1889, 1866, 1932. No shit. That's not English either. That's not. That's Russian. What's, I think it's a book session. I brought her. The other phone? JHS. Did you hear that? Yeah, to my right. Damn, I don't trust these wood lines. What do you need, Steve? Let's make. Basically, we need to make this place quick because anything can happen up here. Whoa! Ah! What was that? Bats. Yeah. yeah. I'm done. Grab your phone. Grab your phone. Let's go. Done. <laughs> Wait, we gotta wait for Jay. Oh no, I'm out. And it's what? Grizzly bear? Grizzly bear? I told you I don't trust those hook lines. But here, a, a freaking thing of bats? Is that what it was? Yeah. Out of the trees. Some don't want us back there. Even my lights screw up. And my battery, I had a full battery, look at it. Hello everyone, I'm Nikki. And I'm Steven. We're from the Paranormal Travelers team. Are you experiencing the paranormal in your home or place of business? Please contact us via our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, or our email, which is paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Please remember, all of our services are confidential and free to you. You can also check out all of our latest episodes and seasons on our YouTube channel. There you go. Continue with our apartment investigation at the orphanage with Michael and the team as they are bringing through multiple spirits through the portal box. Jason and myself are at the control center watching with the SLS camera in amazement at what we've seen around the team so far. Let's continue our investigation at the orphanage. You're cursing at me. Are you mad? Light it up. You okay? Where are you? Mike, you need to be out here. Oh, so now you're not going to say anything. Are you, are you out in the living room? We've got three of them on the SLS. Hi, Come here. Oh. Yeah, I'm here too. There was three. A really? tall one, two small ones, one that sits in the chair. Is, one it, the is it still out there? One that's on the couch. They keep bopping between the rooms because they set off the millimeter. And my, I caught them on the SLS. Doesn't and Jason well. doesn't feel well at all. Okay, come back up here. When he says he feels like he shouldn't be here. Go he ahead. feels like he shouldn't be here. Okay, okay. Very, very sad. A lot of sadness. You hear me? All right. All right. And we clapped two children figures over here by the smaller tripod, and then the one small figure turned into an adult figure, and the other one remained a child. So I don't know if you guys know an adult and a child that have passed or not, but that's what I got on our camera here, on the SLS. Are you 
minutes. And he's not Are you making well. Jason upset? Yes or no? I asked, are you here? And it says sin, S-Y-N-N. -N. Mm. Were you hurt here? John, you are a coward, and it says, wow. Maybe it liked the way I pose. <laughs> Watch this, John. We are coming for you. Hello? I'm out. Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> he says, I said, John, we are coming for you. He says, I'm out and drunk. Turn back on. As we're investigating the basement of the orphanage, we started to hear footsteps out in the hallway, as well as above us. We sent a team member out just in case we needed to explain what we were doing in the basement. But no one was out there. We continued with the basement investigation, and then we heard footsteps again. This time we all went out into the hallway, and to our surprise, no one was out there. At that moment we heard footsteps in the stairwell. Quietly, we followed the footsteps, and it led us straight to the former chapel. We just finished investigating the basement. 
As we were walking, we came across stairs that took us directly straight up to the chapel that is located in the middle between where the boys and girls classes are. We decided to investigate this location due to the fact that this was a perfect setting of feeling safe from all the negative spirits that were coming across to us. For the safety of the crew and myself and Rick, we knew that we were in the house of God and the divine white light kept us safe from any kind of harm, from any kind of the negative spirits that tried to attach to us. Stay tuned as we continue our journey in the dark abyss, as we search more of the corridors to see what other spirits lie ahead on what they want to say, tell, or have us feel. Join us for the conclusion of the orphanage on the next episode of Paranormal Travelers.